Hello, hope you're doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to use Zipify on Shopify. Zipify is a popular landing page builder that I would recommend to anyone. All you'll need to do is go onto your admin page on Shopify and you are going to tap on apps from the left hand menu option. Then from there, you're going to tap on app and sales channel settings. And I want you to tap on Shopify app store in the top right hand corner. Once on the app store, you are going to type in Zipify and you will be redirected to this page. From here, you are going to tap on install. Keep in mind that Zipify offers a free plan and they also offer a 14 day free trial period. With their free plan, you can get one published slot, a full page builder functionality and proven winning templates. And you can also see their paid plans right there. It starts off at $30 per month and goes up to $138 per month. So you're going to tap on install. Once it has been installed, you'll be redirected to this page. From here, you will be able to choose the industry that you're in. So let's say, for example, I were to select, for example, say, let's say the sports industry. Then from there, you could select your monthly revenue or monthly visitors. If you're just getting started, you will simply tap on next. Then how did you hear about us? You can select any one of these options right here. Then you'll tap on next once more. After doing that, what are we building first? So do you want to build a landing page, a product page, a home page, or a blog? So you can select any one of these four options. So I'm going to select build your first page and I'm going to leave it as landing page. After you have done that, you will be redirected to this page. From here, you can scroll down and you can see the different templates that you can use. So you can see the different templates right here. So you could scroll down and select a template of your liking. Or you could choose the template based on the category. So you could tap here and select landing pages. Then from there, you can see the different landing page templates that you can choose from. Now, let's say, for example, sake, I would like to use this landing page. All I would need to do is tap on it. After I've selected the landing page that I would like to use, you can see a preview of how it looks right here. Now, if it is to your liking, you're going to tap on use template in the top right hand corner. After you have tapped on use template, from here you can see the different options. So let's say for example, you want to use the template after previewing, you are going to tap on use template. Then from there, you could change the landing page name. So I'm going to change it to test. Then from there, you can also choose a group. So I'll tap on choose group right there. After adding the landing page name, you can scroll down if you like to add tags or so on, you can do that. Then you're going to tap on add. After tapping on add, you'll be redirected to the editor page. Once on the editor page, you'll now be able to customize the landing page that you have chosen. So you can see right here, the editor page is loading up. Once it has loaded up, I'll be showing you what to do next. We could close it right there, close the pop up. Are you sure you want to continue? And I'll tap on. So we'll close this pop up. We'll tap on yes. After you have done that to make any changes now, all you'll need to do is tap on the section that you would like to change. So for example, if you like to change the text right here, you could tap on the text at the moment. And then from there, you could type in whatever you want. You can also change the background picture. So let's say we would like to change the image right here. You could tap on the current image, then go over to the left hand menu option and you could tap on choose image. After tapping on choose image from there, we can either choose to upload an image so we could tap on add images or we can choose one of the copyright free images from Unsplash. So let's say for example sake, I would like to use this image i'll just tap on this random image right here so i'm going to simply select that image so that you can see how it looks 
so you can see the image has changed right there another thing that you can also do by scrolling down you can edit other sections so you can tap right here and you could edit the text section right here if it is a case that you would like to add another text box you could tap on the plus below that then from there you could tap on text and you could add text if you would like to add a timer or any other section you can do that quite easily by tapping on timer or any one of the elements that you would like to add you can also edit the image by tapping on image right there you could change the image by going over to the left hand menu option you can also edit the product button so we could tap on product button then you could tap on the pencil and by going over to the left hand menu option you can see that you can change the text so if you'd like to change it from by now you can type in something else you can also change the font size right there and also by tapping on the plus again if it is a case that you'd like to add an element below it you can do that and that is how you would be able to edit the page on this platform you can scroll down and make all the changes you want once it is there like in you're going to tap on publish in the top right hand corner so let's do that real quick so we can see how it looks on our store after tapping on publish all you'll need to do now you can see right there you can change the page name you can also add a meta description if you want on publish then after tapping on publish we can see how it looks so we could tap on live preview and you can see how the page looks right here so this is our new landing page so you can scroll down let me refresh the page real quick so i'm going to refresh it so you can see how it looks and this is it hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe